Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining. On this channel, you will find a range of foods that are simple to make and hopefully it will give you ideas on what you can prepare for yourself or family. I hope this channel helps you on your plant-based journey. I have often mentioned in my videos why my family are plant-based and what type of foods we like to have. A plant-based diet focuses on whole plant foods such as fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts, seeds and healthy fats. So in my next couple of videos I will discuss how it is feasible to obtain all essential nutrients from being on a plant-based diet. As there is a common misconception this is not always achievable. achievable. Let's start off by making a simple meal that is high in protein. I saute onions, garlic and peppers in water. You don't always have to use oil. Then I'm using black beans and kidney beans and then I'll add those to the pan. If you're using dried beans, make sure to soak those overnight and then cook them for at least two hours or at least until they're soft. Then I want to rinse some spinach and I'll leave that to one side and add it to the pan later on. Next, I'm going to add some stock cubes. I'm actually making quite a lot of this so it can be used for the next day's meal. Protein is important for building, repairing and maintaining muscle and body tissue. If you want to cut down on meat, consider swapping meat protein to plant-based protein. You can start off by doing this one or two times a week. Then I'm going to add some seasonings. I've added cumin, turmeric. You could also add all-purpose seasoning if you wanted to. You could add garlic powder. I didn't add salt into this because of the all-purpose seasoning that I put in it already. I don't want it to be too salty. And when I mention salt, I'm talking about Celtic salt, which gives food a really nice flavor. Then I'm going to add chopped tomatoes. I use one tin. Experiment with ingredients and what works best for you. I always say when you're starting out on a plant-based journey, gradually add food to your diet or omit things that may be harmful or cause irritation. I also added some mixed herbs and then some sweet potatoes. There is a saying that goes slow and steady wins the race. This rings true for those transitioning to a healthier plant-based diet. Often people attempt to make the change all at once, only to revert to their old eating habits. After I've given the stew a taste test, I will allow it to cook for about 20 minutes or so. And then towards the end, maybe about 10 minutes towards the end, I will add either about half a can of coconut cream, give it a good mix, and then I'm going to cook it a little bit longer just so that the sauce can thicken up. Other protein sources are tofu, tempeh, lentils, chickpeas. So you could try any of these foods in place of beans. And then all I've got to do is just plate up and the children really enjoyed this meal. I actually had mine with spinach as well. Comment down below if you try this and I will see you soon in the next video. Take care, bye.